be damned. I didn't know you were a criminal mastermind, Miss Caulfield. <laughs> There's a lot you don't know about me. Truly, is nothing easy? How do we get around that? <sighs> I'm not despairing yet. Let me take a look. I hope whoever Neb is, they don't mind that I'm in their pub. And if they do mind, I hope I can take them. Oh yeah. Easy peasy. Sure about this? Positive. Wait for it. Go. Talk about descending into the mouth of hell. So glad you told me about this place. It's incredible. Ew. That's one word for it. Uh, I had a friend in undergrad who was obsessed with this building. She never broke in, though. She clearly wasn't as crazy as you. <laughs> Urban exploration is kind of my thing. I can't see a busted old place and simply not go into it. What is it about empty spaces? Uh, I don't know. An abandoned building has the potential to be anything. Just by going inside, I make it into something new. Hell yeah, let's hit the bar. Not a bad shot. Oh, let me just... Don't! What? I don't usually rearrange the space if I can help it. I want it to look exactly like it would without human interference. Got it. Hands off. Is there anything that I should be doing? I'll have a vodka martini. Any cocktail I make you here will be entirely spiders. Ugh. So what are we looking for exactly, besides photographing random detritus? Most of the shoots I do, I find a focus. Something to hang the rest of the series on. I'll know when I see it. Something lonely. The loneliest thing you can find. Gotcha, boss. <laughs> Oof. Try not to breathe too deep. This place looks like it's 90% asbestos. Ah, uh, yes. Abraxas. Oof. Hey! Rewind hasn't worked in years. But still, old habits die hard. Hurry up. I think this thing is alive and hungry. What are you smiling about? Nothing. I'm glad Sophie's having fun. Hate to bring an unappreciative audience to a trespassing. How old did you say this place was? I think it was built in the 60s, but it only closed down, like, a decade ago. Really? It looks like it's been abandoned for half a century. 
Maybe the tackier something is, the faster the rate of decay. <laughs> well, I buy it. But I'm here on a photography residency, so what do I know? I'll pitch my thesis to Moses, get the physicist's perspective. Hail Satan. Hmm. Edgy. Ready to pledge yourself to the pr Prince of Lies? <laughs> I don't go. God, I haven't been bowling since I was little. Something to bring you back to the beginning. Imagine that. Maybe if I just ignore this, nothing will pop out of it. Fun party, though. There was an ice cream cake. Wow. It looks so much cleaner than it did online. Are there photos? Yeah. The old website is still up. I wonder who's paying the hosting fees. Someone who loves kitsch and dust. Hmm. Figured out what your focus is going to be yet? Not yet, but I'll know it when I see Guess it. These haven't been greased in a minute. Think of the expensive new lit building she'd replace it with. For sure. Expensive, new, and inoffensive. So much for never rearranging a space. Damn. I bet that was stunning when it caught the light. Oh shit. That's it, huh? centerpiece you wanted, right? The loneliest thing in here or whatever. It was made to be beautiful. And now no one ever looks at it. Until today. <laughs> Something like that. Not in love with this angle, though. There. Help me find a way up. You got it, boss. If a roof collapses in a bowling alley and no one is around to hear it... Can you still collect the insurance money? The world may never know. I told you this place was the portal to hell. Behold, a devil. Aw, it's cute. I think it looks like an off-brand M&M. Yeah? I think it looks like Mr. Pina on meth. And I hate it. I wonder if there's any way to get it out of here. 
What? You mean steal it? It's not like anybody is going to miss it. Couldn't you steal something that doesn't feast on the tears of orphan children? Well, it doesn't even matter. It's way too big to drag out with just the two of us. I could never resist a deal. Behold, everyone's least favorite part of bowling. Shoes? Are shoes lonely? Super lonely. Sans feet. Shoes were the subject of the first photo of mine your mom ever saw. Oh my god! <gasps> this year's Caledon University artist in residence sent my mom foot pics? <laughs> I guess there are just some things about your mom you don't know. Ugh, I'm gonna throw up. It was a shot of a messy closet in a condemned house. Someone left behind all their shoes. Your mom loved it. Hypocritical of her considering she never liked it when my closet was messy, but... My money's on one half full Bic lighter to win it all. Oh man, I'm nine years late for my free slice of za. I've never bowled anything above a 180. Way to go, Doug. Oh, oh, Doug, no. Okay? Damn. <laughs> yeah, I I'm fine. That could have been bad. See, this is why you need an assistant. In case you break your ass and need an ass ambulance. <laughs> Go get your shot. Let me figure out how to get you back down. Armed and ready. Let's find that shot. How are your Ain't parkour no rule that skills? says a carousel horse can't bowl. What? I said, how are your... What? I said... You're the fucking gnome smoking you. weed really pull the place together. I'll keep looking. Are you here because I took one of your children? Have I unlocked some foul curse? Pretty shitty leaving these around for someone else to find. That's the second biggest monkey DJ I've ever seen. Always wondered what's inside a bowling ball. Turns out it's just more bowling ball. Wonder if the birthday room was any less terrifying back in its heyday. <laughs> wow! 
Valet service too? This place is bougie. Please remember to tip your ladder driver. Did you get your shot? Let's get the hell out of this death trap! Come on, I'm starving. This loneliness makes me want a sandwich. Oof. Beautiful dismount. Check this out. It's perfect. Oh, show me the angle. Oh my god. What? Are you okay? <laughs> oh. I need a drink. Do you need a drink? You read my mind. Uh, turtle? Turtle. My powers might not last. That's okay. We will. Dead? Oh, yeah. I mean, I mean, no. Not dead. Just thinking. Hmm. Cosmopolitan for Max. Vodka shot for Safi. Very on brand in both cases. Perfect. Thanks a ton, Amanda. You look really good today. You think so? I switched shampoos. Oh. Not sure about it yet. So, what are you up to later? <laughs> I've got a dark room all nighter in my immediate future. <sighs> that Protestant work ethic's a killer. You know she was flirting with you, right? What? Amanda, are you actually this oblivious? <laughs> oh, guilty. Flirting is like a foreign language to me. You spent all those years on the road meeting new people every day and you still can't tell when someone's into you? I don't know. You don't meet a lot of suitors in abandoned buildings. Is this about the blue-haired girl whose picture you keep in your wallet? Wait, you snooped in my wallet? Stop deflecting. The girl with the blue hair. What's the deal with you two? Look, we were kind of high school sweethearts, okay? High school breakup turned you to Miss Havisham? It was a little more complicated than... Can, can we change the subject now? No, come on! You never talk about yourself. Would it kill you to open up the teeny tiniest bit? What happened? I mean... We were together for kind of a long time after high school. And then we weren't. She wanted to live in the future. I was too hung up on the past. That's all you're getting. For now. Forever. <laughs> now change the damn subject. Deal. Amanda. Thoughts? Ugh, fine. Yes. I have a big, stupid crush on a hot girl. So does half a lakeport. 
Remember the total catch. Half of Lakeport doesn't have what you have. A softie. I can help you navigate the complicated waters of love. First step, talk to her. About what? What do normal people even talk about? Mostly gas prices. But we're aiming a little bit higher. I mean, go look around. She's responsible for half the decor in this place. Learn what she likes. Yeah. Yeah. Why the hell not, you know? Okay, then. Time to go be normal. All I have to do is find some things, Amanda. Fucking over. Like I haven't heard. No way. The soup future is in my hands. All I have to do is find some things Amanda likes and then. When in New England, do as the New Englanders do. Why are you talking to me? Talk to her. Okay, okay. commitment to a bit as much as the next girl, but the bit here is just confusing. Safi says the bands that play here are small, but have heart. I'm not sure if that's a compliment. Oh man, I want to get on the bad pickup line board. I wonder if anyone here knows any good ones I could borrow. Good beer, good ethics. What else could you ask for? Ah, yes. The telltale signs of a 10 coffee all nighter. Amanda recommends Misery Cult, huh? I can work with that. I should be able to break the ice now. Not that having more to talk about or more pickup lines for her chalkboard ever hurts. Survey question. You two know any good pickup lines? Um, lots of calories in that drink. I know a great way to burn them off. Too old school? Cringeworthy, but a classic. Maybe that'll get me up there. I should be able to break the ice now. Not that having more to talk about or more pickup lines for her chalkboard ever hurts. I should be able to break the ice now. 
Not that having more to talk about or more pickup lines for her chalkboard ever hurts. I thought I was Caledon's resident Polaroid taker. Ah, undergrads. One day, I'd like to play Go with Moses and Safi. Just have to learn the game first. Hell yeah, Diamond. Way to go. Tell me you've got a terrible pickup line to share. Are you a campfire? Because you're smoking hot and I want some more. <laughs> oh, you're good. How do you do, fellow kids? What brings you two to the turtle tonight? Fearless leader put us on duty. Oh, that's right. Must be exciting, being in a secret society. <laughs> yeah, very exciting. Join the Abraxas Society, where you too can become a prestigious artist. And hang posters for Vin's party. <laughs> You'd think he'd have freshmen for that. So, why do people join Abraxas? It just sounds like a lot of stress. The only thing worse than being in Abraxas is not being in Abraxas if you want any recognition at all. It didn't used to be this way. It used to be about activism and creating art that matters. Now it's mostly for networking and worshiping Vin Lang, the president. Sounds like bummer. Well, good luck, you guys. <laughs> Ten bucks she asks around. I saw the Busy night. Ugh. Julie called off, so I haven't gotten a single break all shift. My bladder's about to explode. Go, pee. You can talk to me later. It's a fabulous idea. Don't go anywhere. That's the third glass this week, Reggie. I got this. Bathroom. Now, you are a literal angel. I owe you. Out of the way, freshman! Reggie's lucky I'm not gonna make him sweep up the glass. Come here, my sharp little friends. Moonlighting, huh? Hey, photography's a tough industry. Next time, remember, the class goes on the table. Jeez, Amanda has a huge family. Wonder what that's like. Amanda probably knows which beer is actually good. I could ask her. Oh, my bladder thanks you. Tell your bladder it's my pleasure. Oh, and I saw you fix the paintings. We're gonna have to put you on payroll. Yeah, <laughs> I'm pretty amazing. So hey, you were gonna say something before all that. I gotta know what the deal is with the pickup lines. My buddy Henry and I were co-headlining a comedy night. Holy shit, you do comedy? And this is the first I'm hearing about it? Sorry, sorry. Listening quietly, please proceed. So the whole drive up, he's telling me the grossest pickup lines he can think of, trying to get me to squirm. Dumb, bro shit. 
Anyway, it turned into a competition, which I won. Nobody knows grosser pickup lines than a small town lesbian. And the competition turned into the chalkboard? So? Give it a shot. What's the best pickup line you've got? Are you a campfire? Cause you're smoking hot and I want some more. Cringe. <laughs> Goofy as hell. Uh, perfect. You're on the board, Max. Yes. Recommend a beer for someone who hates the taste of beer. Handlebar cider. That's the maxist thing on tap. How did you? It's my job to know the regulars. I am the all-seeing eye of Lakeport, Vermont. <laughs> You're starting to sound like one of those Abraxas guys. That dork-ass, rich kid secret society? Bite your tongue. Those photos on the wall over there. Is that your family? Yep. All six of us, my poor mother. <laughs> I love those goobers. Plus, I'm the oldest, so they have to do what I say. Mm. So, you're a misery cult fan? For sure. <laughs> So cool that you know them. No, sorry. I actually had never heard of them until I read your wreck on the whiteboard. Oh, right. You're not a Lakeport local, duh. <laughs> so, educate me. I want to know. Misery Cult were the first band out of Lakeport to make it big. They kind of founded the Lakeport music scene. What does make it big mean in this context? I mean, they got college radio airplay as far away as New Hampshire. So yeah, <laughs> pretty big. So, I was thinking... That we should totally do something in Lakeport sometime? You could show off the local music scene. Oh, hell yeah. There's this band, Revenge Horse, that I've been meaning to check out. Based on that name alone, I'm 100% in. So, um, ugh, uh, I like to make sure that boundaries get set early. Uh, so, zero pressure, either way, but is this a date thing or is this a friend thing? I was kinda Definitely thinking a date thing. You're really fucking adorable. It's a date then. Look at you, Max, doing normal people shit like some kind of healthy, productive member of society. How do you feel? I have no idea. The last 10 minutes are a total blur. But Amanda's really cool. Who's this? Hey. Oh, how was the shoot? We almost died. We didn't almost die. Yeah, because I saved us. I deserve a medal. <laughs> <laughs> so what are we doing? The night's young. We should hang out. Just the three of us? There's a meteor shower tonight. I'm conducting research, but it could be fun with other people. You should come. Both of you. That's perfect. All we need is... Hold on. <laughs> she's a mile a minute tonight. She gets this way when she's in a good mood. Courtesy of Madame President Mommy Dearest. At least until she remembers that I have her credit card. <laughs> Shall we? Give me the Cliff Notes version of what we're actually here to see. A bunch of little pieces of a shattered asteroid. From 11 million miles away. This is what I get for introducing you to. 
Wow. So should we be worried about this crazy asteroid hitting Earth? <laughs> Not in our lifetime. And it will probably disintegrate before it reaches the surface. All right, Max. If you have 24 hours before the world ends, what would you do? Oh, I'm documenting that shit. Can you imagine how cool an apocalypse photo set would be? Oh my god, this again? Nobody would see it. I'm telling you, art requires an audience. Otherwise, it's just... Okay, jeez. Agree to disagree. Awful quiet over there, Murph. Don't want to weigh in? Oh, uh, I wasn't listening. But, hey, looks like the equipment's working. Eek, why am I not at home wrapped up in a blanket burrito right now? Because, despite your attempts to convince us otherwise, you're a really sweet person. And you wanted to spend time with us. Aww. Oh, I brought cups. Figured that was better than passing the bottle around. This is the best you could do? I don't work in this building. Don't blame me for the astronomy department's bad taste. Mine says I'm the world's horniest grandma. Grab a mug, Max. <laughs> Why not just come out and say it? I have some good news. Uh, it's big, but I can't tell you what it is. You can't tell us you have good news and then- I don't want to say anything else until everything is finalized. Mysterious. Well, whatever we're celebrating, I think it calls for a selfie. Oh, let me, I just got this camera and I want to get some good use out of it. What should we say? Damn, I think I have hypothermia. Moses, Moses has hypothermia. I've got incoming. I'm gonna, you know, um, do my thing. <laughs> Good news, huh? You two and your secrets. How you ever hold a conversation with each other is beyond me. Dying to know what Sophie's good news is. Maybe I can somehow convince her to spill. Sophie's second favorite oral fixation. Moses and Safi have been friends for years. Me and Chloe used to daydream about the adventures we'd have under skies like this. I love that you're my partner in crime. As long as you're my partner in time. After everything that happened in Arcadia Bay, I'm lucky I found this place. I haven't been as happy in years. I guess this is how people who aren't Moses lose their rooftop privileges. Moses must be curious about Sophie's good news too. I bet he knows a way to get it out of her. Nice try, Max. That's 
a lot of cigarette butts. Are they all Sophie's? I thought Sophie quit smoking. Is she stressed? What exactly is a comet chaser? Amateur astronomer or fancy cocktail? You decide. I love how Moses always looks so passionate about his work. Even when he's just crunching. Hey, Moses, casually lean on the telescope. I might knock it over. Pretend. Hey, Moses. Doesn't some small part of you want to know what Sophie's good news is? All right. I think I have an idea. But once we go down this road, we can't turn back. Um, okay. Give this to Sophie, if you can. You'll probably have to trick her into taking it or plant it on her. Like a prank? No. This has rules. So it's more of a game. Whoever holds the bottle cap has to do whatever you say. Well, within reason. Moses, I have literally never wanted to play a game more in my entire life. You say that now. But Safi has a very loose definition of within reason. And she'll come for you next. <laughs> okay. Wish me luck. Don't do anything I wouldn't do. Oh, you mean like talking to someone who has an obvious crush on me? First of all, how dare you? Second of all, yes, exactly. Okay, how am I going to plant this on Safi? Could I hide the bottle cap in a snowball? Not sure I want to rely on my aim. I'd only get one shot. Since Safi hasn't quit smoking yet, maybe I can use it to my advantage. I'm not above relaxing my principles to give Safi that bottle cap. There might be some other hiding places up here that could work. That's a lot of cigarette butts. Are they all Safis? Sophie's like bonkers protective of that bag. Usually never lets it out of her sight. But she does seem busy writing right now. Now I've just got to deliver this to Sophie. Hey, Sophie. Mm-hmm. Winter air is killing me. You don't have any lip balm in your bag, do you? You didn't see it while you were hiding that bottle cap? Bullshit! How did you see me? Get good, noob. <laughs> You're the worst. Not at hiding bottle caps, I'm not. Your title <laughs> is secure. <laughs> oh. Hello? This is Safi? Yes, this is Safiya Llewellyn Fayyad. Speaking. Be right back.
So, uh, would you really take pictures of the end of the world? Yeah. Think about it. I take photos of empty buildings. An empty planet? <laughs> That's next level. Okay. But it's like Safi said. Nobody is ever going to see them. That's not necessarily true. Maybe aliens find my camera two billion years later. Or irradiated mutants worship your camera like a god. Exactly. Now you get it. You never know who's going to be left standing when the dust settles. Look at that. What a tale. Moses was right. This is awesome. Are you okay? Y yeah. All good. Just dizzy. Maybe the champagne. I think I'm gonna take off. Get some rest. I can give you a ride if you wait a few minutes. No, that's okay. I think a walk will clear my head. I think so. Moses invited me out tonight. I can't recall exactly how you came into my life at all. It seems you always. Caledon's a beautiful campus, but it's even better when it snows. Just waiting to suddenly appear. Everything I know Call the end And promise this is what you want What if I'm dreaming And please don't wake me up I swim in an ocean, I swim all the 
Sophie's Sophie's chain smoking again? I wonder what that call was about. Wow, Sophie. What did Mr. Snowman ever do to you? Call me crazy. But I guess it's everything I Call the end. Nice. But who planted the bottle cap? And who took the photo? Please don't wake me up. shot like this every day. Wow. You're really watching me, aren't you? This is not a test. Max! The emergency broadcast system is now in effect. I caused this! I caused all of this! Max? Hey! Hey, hey, are you okay? Something's wrong. Sophie. Hey! Come back! <sighs> There's Sophie. She seems okay. I feel like I should check on her anyway. Better safe than sorry. Shit! Sophie, hang on! Sophie's fine. For a moment, I thought... Sophie? Sophie? Hey. You okay?
Don't say that! I won't trade you!